Hey guys, what's going on? It's Mike Chen. It's Jen. This story is, is insane. I would love to hear uh, your opinion on it, and I want to hear you guys' opinion on it. This story really, really bothers me. Um, what happened was, there's a there's a girl named Jordan Bellamere, which is not her real name. That's her pseudo name that she uses um, when she's playing a virtual reality game. I mean, I, I haven't played virtual reality reality games before. I've been on one of those like 3D rides and stuff, and they, they seem really real. Have you done those before? No, I haven't. But but I would like to try because apparently it feels very real. Oh, oh yeah. it was insane. I did it in Korea. I think the one I did was like a roller coaster thing, mm -hmm. and and literally I. I couldn't, if you told me while this ride was going on, if you told me, Mike, get out of the chair, I couldn't do it because I think I'm gonna fall off. Yeah, so that that was really real to me. She was playing this game called- Quiver. Quiver, <laughs> Quiver. All right, smart, I don't know anything. Um, so in this, in this game, she was shooting zombies with strangers in this multiplayer mode in, in this virtual universe. And, and apparently her microphone was on. Yeah. So another man who was playing, he heard her voice and he's like, oh, it's a girl. It's a girl. So then he went up and kind of just groped her. He groped her virtually. Yeah, virtually groped her. Yeah, so I don't know how these characters appear in this game. I have no idea. But he he found out she was, was played by her. His character went up to her character yeah. and started groping her. And then when she told him to stop, um, he didn't. He didn't, and he he even went further and started groping her more and chasing her and groping her more and wouldn't stop. And so she posted this experience online, but she was surprised when she met with all sort of backlash. People were basically telling her it's not real, so it's okay. How is that okay? Just because it's online groping doesn't make it not groping. Okay, so you're under the opinion that it's not okay. I don't think this is okay at all. Okay. This is virtual reality, so everything feels real anyway. Yeah, I mean, it definitely looks real. I don't know if you can, uh, the physical thing, I'm sure in the future, you're gonna feel everything in that. In a, in a gaming universe as well, but I feel like people who, who tell her that she's um, kind of taking this too far, she's being too sensitive about this, I think these people, I mean, sorry guys, I think they're moronic, and, and if you feel the same way, I'm sorry, that's just how I feel. When anybody is sexually assaulted, it's not just the physical aspect no, of it. No, it's not. It's mental and emotional. Right, Yeah. exactly. So it's the physical thing, yeah, that probably heals in, in I don't know, uh, however long it takes to heal, but you never forget about those experiences. No, no, you don't. And this girl, she was also sexually assaulted in real life as well. Exactly. So, so she's been, she said she was sexually assaulted twice. Yeah. And so she said that this online experience, this virtual experience, was very similar to the one that she felt when she was sexually assaulted in real life. Yeah. So exactly. If you if you already been through something so traumatic, you know, people have phobias, right? Yeah. They have phobias of, of heights and whatever. They can't they can't go fly a plane. They can't even maybe play a virtual reality game where they're where they're in a plane. Right? It's not like these games don't affect people just because oh, they're too. fake. They still they still make the player feel different sense of emotion, whether that's happy, whether that's uh, sadness, whether that's fright. These these emotions are real. So it's not like video games. Yeah, you know what? It's just a video game. Nothing is real. Sorry, it does relent certain things into the real world. So because of this incident that occurred, the developer of Quiver actually made a new feature. You can enable a feature that gives you a personal bubble. If you enable this feature, others will have to stay at least one foot away from you. Okay, so that's good. Yeah. I mean, I'm glad that this video game maker did this because a lot of the response this girl was getting was, was basically making her out to be like the, the person who was kind of whining. So I'm glad this person took some uh, took some effort and uh, and made this, made this a thing. Just because it's a game doesn't mean people aren't a it. Like this is like cyberbullying too. Hey, you know, I made fun of you in a game. Hey, whatever, whatever. It doesn't mean you don't hurt people's feelings. And also another issue that was brought up is that a lot of the video games they kind of objectify women. So let's say a kid is playing a game where he can, you know, he can go grope people and there's no repercussions because you know it's fine. It's in the game. It's fine. But. I'm sure that affects him somehow to the point where he's like, maybe it's also okay in the real world. Yeah, this reminds me of something else that I read about a different game, like Manhunt. A kid was playing Manhunt so much that he actually stabbed someone in real life because of it. Yeah. So this is kind of like that. So that was like, prove it, because of the video game. It was because he... of the video game that he harmed a person in real life. The games I love to play are role-playing games. You are uh, assuming a character in the game, that's you. So you are kind of making this this avatar of yourself do whatever you want to do, kind of live 
about your little, you want to kind of live out your, your fantasy, fly, have superpowers, whatever, be violent, shoot up cars, that's kind of what you're doing. I don't, I don't believe that has no impact on your real life at all. Anyway, this story is, is just really insane and, and, and I'm, I'm glad she spoke up. I'm glad this story is being taken seriously by the, um, by, by the media. I'm sure it's really controversial because people are gonna have different opinions, but those are our opinions. Let us know yours in the comments below. Thank you for watching everybody. See you. Bye.